Okay, here we come to the figure top of Toys TV episode 83. This time we're going to review not one six scale but one four scale figures from Hot Toys. You should know that, right? This is the Batman from Batman Begins. So this is a huge piece. As you can see the box. Huge box with a lot of accessories. And um, yeah, if you're asking me about the articulations of this Batman, I can say yeah, the articulation is limited. But not too bad, right? But because he is wearing a rubber like costume yeah it's rubber like because it's from Batman Begins still a very you know maybe a design 10 years ago and not like the dark light the dark light version looks pretty much like a you know tactical suit with some Xbox gears This is the Christian Bay has box. We could say this is a young Christian Bay has box. The very first time of him to act as Batman in the movie. Another two lower part of the face with different expression. One is like it. the left one is the yelling one with all the teeth details inside or the tongue, and the right one is the typical iconic expression of him inside the movie. So we go into the details. This is a spare hand packs given by Hot Toys and it's the 1-4 scale printing cards so this is the Batman pistol and there is a movable part here you can see can you see the movement? Yeah, there's a movement here, moving part here, and this is the pistol gear hanger, and this is the bottle cover, and uh, instruction sheet, and uh, four Batman ranks, and this one can be folded, it can be folded like this, and the other three is made in metal. Also, a lot of different gear on the belt. It, it can be easily hanged on the belt. So all different parts have different function, and I forget it. All the specialists here, Batman fans, please tell me, please tell us about what are the functions. Also, the other gears. This one like a mobile phone, and this one like a. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway. An expert or fans, please help. And a very huge stand for one four for scale. Because I show you here. both in structuring and painting but this Christian Bay has crop looks very young really really young one can be a little bit older in expressions but you know 
is portraying the most handsome period of Christian Bay. From my point of view, the very handsome one. Yeah. All the black man suit is made in rubber. Yeah, rubber light one. Very plastic. Plastic feeling. And I think it's made of soft rubber, not PVC. And uh, this waist belt can be easily be removed and also attaching some spare parts easily. Yeah. Something like that. And you can see the crook. Whoa. Huge one. So you won't dissatisfy with the size of the crop, you know. Uh, many in many cases the crop must be complained too small. But this one it should be large enough. Because you can see the length problem is touching the ground and what is this okay it's not including in the set it's the blue tag <laughs> okay. uh, maybe the design is uh, not a very recent one so I, in my point of view the design of the groove can be better but I think the original movie's props is just like that but uh, this is very difficult for you to you know though it's a very simple part as you could think but uh, the growth hand is the difficult part to make it growth like for the material and for the wrinkles it's made and for the gestures of the fingers and the scale of the hands it's quite difficult don't just think that it's an easy job. Uh, not many artists or sculptors can do a good sculpted hand, especially growth the one. Very difficult to make it grow. So, you know, because you if you sculpt a hand, fine. This is a hand, but this is a growth hands. That means there is another layer onto the surface of the hand. So it's a little bit different. You need to portray as yes, a growth hand. Okay. This highness. I have no comment on this. It's typical gear in the in the second look of Batman before he came to a real Batman. So he wear this harness and also this butter cover. Yeah, I won't do here. I tried before uh, to to cover to use the butter cover onto the head scrub. No problem. The size is good. Uh, hole is correct positioned not a problem and uh, there is no painting drops on heads after I I put the photo cover so uh, no worry but uh, but I cannot tell you after two two months or two weeks you put the photo cover onto the head scrub is there any paint drops or paint uh, shading on the head I cannot guarantee so just should be careful uh, yeah don't put the butter cover on the head scrub for a long time because you know we don't know the the dyeing material or the method of this butter cover and usually they are made of you know lighter material or or even this is this one is like cotton one but there should be some synthetic fiber inside with this fabric so it might have some acid acid uh, acid uh, nature and it could uh, evoke some you know paint drops on the hands so uh, you can do just like you know make some special pictures for yourself or, or, or have a look or what two, one or two days and I suggest to remove the buttercaster when you are storing the test rock I just replaced the mouth part of the Batman head scrub to another one. It is very easy for you to exchange it to another one. Uh, they have a magnetic part inside so it is, can easily fit to the basic head scrub. And you can see the gap is perfectly 
back so you won't see some you know accurate gap between the face and the Batman helmet and it's very easy to to make it out I show you some simple method but don't take too long don't let the blue tabs long times touching the face it might cause paint drops onto the Batman body. So this is the look I like most because with a royal helmet that's what person very like it does and with the Batman suit it looks really human. If we to see this in this distance it, without the hair you know the, the speed depreciations of the look like this of the hair you know now the hair looks real right Looks really like a human Western Bay Batman. And the scale of the Batman body looks really perfect for myself. Chest, the embodiment, and the neck, the neck, the left. Very good proportion. In my point of view. And this arrow like helmet tail it um, restricts the, the articulations of this part but I think this is the same happening in the real movie so it doesn't really a big matter but uh, the head scrub is perfect in my point of view yeah. if you make a good picture sometimes you will think that this is maybe a capture of from the movies or maybe like a poster. Very good natural. Yeah, wonderful.